Studio Live. Sarah Moore is with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. And Sarah is a pet communicator. She does pet Reiki, correct? I do. Yep. Excellent, excellent. So basically, you talk to animals? I or, talk to or animals. Or read animals? Anymore? Yeah, animal intuitive, communicator, mm -hmm, psychic. Mm -hmm. Call it what you may. All that sort of stuff. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I started with people. I, I uh -huh. do Reiki on people. And about a year and a half ago, I started doing Reiki on animals. And I did a promo out of Telling Tales in Freiburg, right. which is one of the places I work out of. And um, I had nine dogs signed up. Mm -hmm. And the first dog that I worked on, I heard it chatting in my head. And I thought, okay, well, I'm officially nuts, okay, but I'm just okay. going to throw it and tell them what I got, and it was accurate. So, so, so no, and, and I mean, I can, you know, we can, we can, the, the jokes can go back and forth. I heard um, them all. Okay, so, um, <laughs> but, but can I? Are there like funny animals? Oh, are, are hysterical. The animals funny? Yeah, they have their own personalities. They talk uh -huh. as people would talk with their own intonation. And right. when I'm sort of doing the reading for the animal, sometimes I take, I speak in the way they would speak. So, some, like some of them have attitudes. Some of them are really nice. Some are just mean, okay, or grumpy. Um, All right. So, 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 basically, I have a dog. Mm -hmm. I have a cat, mm -hmm. and I would like you to work on read. It. Okay, work. <laughs> yeah. I'd like for you to work on my dog yeah. or cat. Yes. Do I bring my dog or cat to you? Do you come to my dog or cat? You can. Um, it depends on the animal. Some animals that are absolutely deathly afraid of traveling, it's right. more stressful for them to do that. But. Um, if you want me to work on the animal in person, I prefer that we do it at either Bridgeton Vets or Telling Tales. Mm -hmm. um, it gets them out of their comfort zone, and right. it's not my home turf either, so it's a neutral ground. Right. And they relax in that environment. And at the vet, it also helps them feel more comfortable when they go back to the vet. Yes. I don't give shots. I don't do medical. Um, so they learn that, okay, this is a nice, pleasant experience, and then the next time they come back, they're hoping for the same thing. Um, if you don't want to travel with your pet, I can right. do it off a picture. Uh -huh. If you had an animal and you told me a name and a description, I could tap into that animal's energy. Now, we're oh, living. that's now, Walter. Okay, you know this. You know I this is do Walter. Know Walter. That's actually how I got on the show. Kelly uh -huh. asked Kelly me Cicero. to do a little right. reading on Walter, and right. I think it was over Facebook. And I just uh -huh. tapped into Walter's energy and um, discovered a few things. And things that I'm really good at finding are, I feel their body mm -hmm. um, physically. I feel what they feel. So I'm not a vet, I can't diagnose, right. but I can help you work with your vet and say, hey, next time you go to the vet, check this tooth or check the ear, check the skin, um, and give you a, a better understanding of why they may be acting a certain way. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I worked on Walter. And, and and you were saying physically you feel the body. Mm. How can you do that if, if, if you're doing it online or, or with a photo? I don't know. I just do. Okay. I feel okay. it. I, um, okay. and it's one of those things where if I'm in a really crowded room and I wanted to tap into people's energy, I could sort of scan somebody's body sort of energy-wise and I can feel something that's going on physically. Uh -huh. So day-to-day -day life, I have to remember to sort of put a block up for myself or else I feel everything going on around me. <laughs> now, how, now, how long have you been doing this? I've been doing Reiki a number of years. I've been working on animals for about a year and a half. Uh-huh. So you've been working on uh, people. But I've been working before, on people. On people. Yes. Okay. Yep. And, th and that, you know, that's part of, you know, a lot of people do do Reiki and, yeah. and other sort of... Uh, it's uh, energy, work. Know, what, energy and work. work. For anyone who doesn't know what Reiki is, it's, it's a very basic energy work. Um, right. It gets the energy flowing through the body. The way I describe it to people is if you're in a dark room and you can feel somebody standing next to you and your eyes are closed it's pitch black you can't right. see them but you know someone's there because you feel it uh -huh. that's their energy field and all I do is focus the energy to go through the body and, and relieve blockages um, and it's becoming a lot more mainstream. I mean, a while ago when I started this, people go, uh-huh, okay, uh -huh. what do you do? You rake leaves? Uh -huh, uh -huh. No. <laughs> yes, I do, but not for a job. <laughs> um, and then it, now it's offered at hospitals, pre and post surgery. Right. It's offered for pain management, for chronic pain, right. and it's been successful. Yeah, I, I had Reiki done to me once. Mm -hmm. um, I, I, in addition to this, I also write for various publications, mm -hmm. and I did a, did a travel story on a, on a, a place, actually, uh, in Bethel, Maine, because yep. I had a few, uh, some Reiki practitioners yep. there, and also, uh, they have somebody up there who's a vet and yep. does stuff. Like yes, Gary. Through, through, uh, he is him. very well known so, for that. And, and then, like, they also have like some foot massage people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know, they got the whole. I'll, I'll just say energy work. Yes. Uh, going going on there. And again, in in the dark room, quiet. Mm -hmm. Do you do you set a mood? 
for the cats and dogs? No. Do you, do, you know? <laughs> That's I mean, the beauty of working you know? with cats I mean, and dogs. No, <laughs> they don't okay. want to talk about it afterwards. It's great. <laughs> no, they just come into the room. I can I can do this anywhere. Um, okay. They come into the at the vet. They have um, Bridgeton Vet has a fantastic facility. Right. They specialize in dentistry for animals. So they have a private quiet room that is used for people who are there for a long time. So there's comfortable chairs. There's a flat screen TV. Yep. So I just have the animal either in that room or one of the treatment rooms uh -huh. at Telling Tales. It's Telling Tales is right in Freiburg, Maine. Yes. Fantastic facility. They do agility trials, behavior, um, all kinds of training sure. from puppies up. And there, it's really just a big warehouse facility. So it's wide open, two rooms, so it's divided right in half. And I just sit in, against a wall in a big room on a mat. And the dogs um, usually sit right with me. And if they want to wander around, I can sort of do it with them wandering. That's fine. Uh -huh. um, Right. And Sarah, where, where can people find you? Do you have a, a website I'm online. or email? Yep. Or what, what's, what's the yep. deal with that? Um, www.sarahmoorreiki.com. Okay. And easiest thing, because you'll never spell all of that correctly, is Google Sarah Moore Conway and, and I'll pop up is my website. Um, uh -huh. They can also call me at 986-9421 to schedule appointments. Right. And I work on people out of Taylor Chiropractic in Conway. Okay, and also you mentioned you're going to be somewhere later on today. Today I'm at Bridgeton Vet, um, 11 okay. to 2. Where, where is that? It's, I know it's in Bridgeton, um, but, but where? Is there a street? Well, yes. I mean, there is a street. Yes, there people is. And, and no, it might I even do. Be. Hang on, okay. I'm going to rake you this. No, well, I don't okay. know. <laughs> but if you go to Bridgeton, turn left at the lights in the center, mm, you'll get there. Just put it in GPS. Yes, mm, yes. Okay, okay, there you go. Oh, very good. Bridgeton mm. vet. Okay. Um, and then next, uh, tomorrow I have a, a client, a dog, at um, Telling Tales, so I right. have space available there. Okay. Next Saturday, I'm at Bridgeton Vet on Sunday. They're doing a pet community event. Uh -huh. All different vendors are going to be there. I'm doing free readings, mini readings. So even with their, your phone, right. bring a picture of your animal, and it's free. I'll just sit there and give you a mini reading. And people ask spe very specific questions. Why are they acting like this? Or um, my dog's, one woman, every time her daughter's dog came over, <laughs> the daughter's dog, Mr. Big, would poop in the wife's, in the mom's shoe. And we had to negotiate, you can't do that. <laughs> and Serious issues. It, it did, but you know what? I told her what to do and um, from what the dog I knew would respond to and it stopped instantly. I, no way should I replace traditional training, gotcha. but I can compliment it really well. And, and one, one last question, is, is it generally cats and dogs? Or, it's, it's traditionally yeah. cats and dogs. Um, I do do horses. I go to horse shows and dog shows. Mm -hmm. So I've worked on horses. If you go to my website, um, there's a very silly picture of a worm. <laughs> I didn't actually rake it, but it did slither across <laughs> the booth, so I took a picture. Um, but I've worked on all kinds of animals. Slow down, huh? Yeah, it's going way Slow too down. Fast. You're way too yeah. fast. Slow yeah. down. <laughs> well, Sarah Moore, thank you very much thank for you. stopping by this morning. Pet Reiki, there you go. Her website, sarahmoorreiki.com. And we'll be back with more white today after this.